Today we'll be talking about short nose Asian rhinoplasty. Short nose is a uh, subset of a uh, feature of an Asian rhinoplasty where uh, the nose is um, essentially not only is it short but it's also uh, upwardly turned. So um, we'll be talking about some of the features of a short nose and how to uh, correct it. So as mentioned, um, a short nose is a nose where the bridge of the nose is short and also the tip is uh, inadequately uh, projected. Uh, furthermore, um, the nasal tip is uh, upwardly turned and so there's an increased uh, nostril show. Uh, the reason why this is uh, occurring is because of the underlying uh, structure you know, within the nose. There is an inadequate um, uh, cartilage uh, framework to uh, support the nose. And in essence, the nose is uh, uh, structurally uh, inadequate. The cartilage uh, mass, uh, its amount, the way it's positioned, is all um, uh, in essence uh, uh, small. Uh, or uh, it could be termed infantile in that the nose is very, very uh, uh, underdeveloped. What has been a typical uh, method of correcting uh, short nose has been uh, simply uh, inserting an implant to enlarge the nose. But mechanically, the problem with this technique is that uh, by uh, inserting an implant and trying to just simply enlarge the nose, uh, the mechanism of the nose is that the nose turns uh, upward. And what this does is that uh, the, one of the features of a short nose is that there's an increased nostril show. And with surgery, there is a further increase in uh, nostril show. And uh, because uh, biomechanically, by uh, elevating uh, the, uh, the nose, uh, because the nose is almost a tri-dimensional in shape, uh, that mechanically by elevating it, the tip turns upward. Therefore, the a traditional method of uh, performing uh, Asian rhinoplasty has been uh, unsuccessful. The newer method of correcting a uh, uh, short nose has been to, first of all, relocate uh, the cartilage that's uh, underneath the skin. Uh, because the cartilages are essentially uh, already uh, outwardly positioned and they're inadequately projected, first uh, we must free up the cartilages adequately and then relocate it more down and also you would like to uh, push it out. Um, the other um, advances that has occurred is a use of materials to stabilize uh, the relocated cartilage. Because Asian uh, uh, nasal cartilages are small in amount uh, and therefore is structurally weaker, by using um, internal cartilages within the nose uh, essentially uh, decreases the already weak uh, framework. Therefore, by trying to use the uh, cartilages inside the nose, um, has not been successful. By use of newer um, synthetic materials um, and also using other autologous cartilages, which means uh, cartilages uh, within your body, um, we can uh, further support um, the nose rather than destabilize uh, the nose. Um, so therefore the concept is to create a strong foundation, a strong base um, where you could build on. Another uh, important uh, issue is uh, uh, skin elasticity. Uh, because um, the nasal uh, uh, framework is essentially uh, fighting against a uh, dense um, skin, uh, what, um, what has to be done is that the skin also has to be adequately mobilized to gently cover uh, the relocated and repositioned underlying um, framework, essentially cartilages. Um, so these, have, these uh, methods have dramatically improved the result for correction of short noses, which is again to mention is a relatively common uh, uh, nasal feature in Asians. 
by uh, uh, better understanding of anatomy, uh, better understanding of uh, uh, biomechanics, and with uh, improved uh, uh, synthetic and autologous materials, um, short noses uh, uh, can be uh, uh, adequately uh, improved and corrected. Um, another uh, point to mention is uh, use of uh, synthetic materials in these uh, 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 short nose uh, rhinoplasty. Um, the synthetic materials that are used are um, uh, uh, they're used relatively uh, on the dorsum and also they can be used to uh, support the nasal tip. For the dorsum, um, uh, silicone uh, implants are applied. Um, or one can also uh, use um, uh, one's own cartilage, uh, such as a cartilage from the rib. Um, in Korea, um, uh, silicone is overwhelmingly uh, uh, the material of choice. Um, over 95% of the rhinoplasty uh, cases are done with uh, silicone relative to other synthetic materials or um, any other um, autologous material such as uh, rib cartilages. Um, there's some of the advantages and disadvantages of each uh, procedure. Knowledge or uh, technique of using synthetic uh, materials, uh, but with better um, understanding and skill set, uh, silicone implants uh, can be used effectively. Uh, this will be discussed uh, more uh, uh, in future, but in brief, um, uh, one of the advantages uh, of using um, silicone is uh, better aesthetics um, and um, also uh, um, the uh, relative ease for the patient. Um, silicone implants have had negative um, stigmata in the past and perhaps this is because of inadequate um, uh, uh, knowledge or uh, technique of using synthetic uh, materials, uh, but with better um, understanding and skill set, uh, silicone implants uh, can be used effectively. Overall, uh, correction of short noses uh, significantly improves one's overall facial features because by projecting um, uh, the under projected nose uh, and short nose, uh, what this does is that it improves the appearance of the eyes um, and also it makes the face look uh, narrower um, and overall it gives uh, uh, a good proportion, balance and harmony to the face. In conclusion, short nose rhinoplasty and Asian rhinoplasty is a very satisfying um, surgery for both the patient and the surgeon because the results are uh, very dramatic um, and patients are patients are very pleased with the overall result.